Hello everyone again. Um, welcome to today's review on um, my with three system. Um, like I said, it's more of a psychology, more of um, a thinking than um, than um, just looking at the indicators and following blindly. It's more of a thinking. It's more of a psychology. It's more of a way of thinking a mindset okay um one of the issues with um with three trading with three or trading any of the waves is that um, everybody tend to see the waves differently okay so the way you draw your wave is different from the way others would most likely draw their wave okay um so that is the major challenge with with the wave now if i go into today's um trade on my today's speak, what I'm looking at. Uh, let's review the last um, the last trade. Yesterday's um, trade. Now I, I routed for a, a buy. I was predicting that with the wave, wave one, wave two, that this was going to go up. So I was in a buy trade, and my stop loss was about this point. Uh, market fails to go up. It lost momentum, and it went down. To hit my stop loss okay this candle um removed me from the trade now it's okay it's fine it's fine to have a losing trade the major the major thing you need to ask yourself is um do, did i apply good money management um like i said you don't need to be 100 percent efficient in trading if you are even 60 percent efficient if you have a trading system that is 60 percent efficient and you have a very good money management you can enjoy life with with it okay so this um uh, this trade hit my stop loss and i was telling you yesterday that um it is advisable not to use um up to five percent of your account on every trade okay that the maximum you have to use per trade should be five percent okay five percent five percent should be the maximum percentage you should, you should use on each of your your um, trades okay but this account i'm basically um i'm um, risking a little bit more um for some reasons i want to see how to take it to a particular level so I'm risking 10%, 10% per trade, okay? So because I was risking 10% per trade from this um, negative trade yesterday, I lost about 10% of my account. But other opportunities will, will, will come and I'll utilize them to build the account and get back more than that 10%, okay? So the idea of trading is make sure that you don't, you don't get destroyed by one single trade. Okay, make sure you don't get destroyed by one single trade. Have multiple banks of trades such that at the end of the day, they, they, they accumulated the average of those trades will, would be your advantage, it would be your profit. Okay, don't allow one trade damage your account so much that um, you can't even trade effectively again. Okay, so this trade was a negative, and then I went to the next. Um, the next peak okay so this is this is what i'm looking at today this is um this is what i see and i am buying um on euro chf this is the four hour time frame now i told us that basically what we tend to look out for is wave three so you have wave one here wave two here and wave three forming this is wave three forming okay now with three forming you see the projection. The first projection here is um, the 161.8 projection, which is here. My take profit is just before this projection. Okay. And um, the next projection is the, the 261.8 projection. But I'm okay with the 161.8 projection. Now, my stop loss for this trade will just is below this. It's not said, but uh, since I'm observing the trade, I would I would see when it gets here. Okay, now I'm I I have set the stop loss with my eyes, and immediately it gets here, I will exit that trade. Okay, so I'm risking I'm risking um um 
1 to get about 3. If you look at it from, um, let me see this. Let me put this in another folder so we can easily cope with it. Um, and then let me put the, the root calculator to help us do it better. Okay. Um, this is a risk calculator. Let's say I'm risking 10% again on this trade. Um, let me remove grid so I can see, see it better. Um, changes to candle. Okay, now I am looking at this buy here. So if you take this and um, to see it clearer, this is my entry. This is my stop loss and my take profit is um, up here. My take profit is up here. Okay, now if if you look at, um, uh oh, sorry, I just um, double, um, triple clicked, so I have to do that again. Um, this is entry. This is stop loss, and this is take profit. Now, if you look at um, my risk to reward, you see I'm risking um, I'm risking one to get about two point three. Okay, I'm risking one to get about two point two point three. Okay, for this trade, and um, for me to risk ten percent of this trade, I'm supposed to use. 0.95 lots okay 0.95 lots that's what i'm i'm supposed to use um but the real point i enter this trade because of spread the reason you are seeing the deviation is because of spread the real point i entered this trade was um was here let me see how to change it it's difficult now Okay, the real point I entered this trade was here. Okay, and the stop loss was here. And then take profit here. Okay, so it's the spread. The spread is about um, five pips. So that, that's why you have that, that gap. Now, if you look at it, the, the, for me to risk, um, I now have one is to three. So one is to three. That, that was what I was looking at to risk one to get three and my my uh, lot size was about 1.2 okay so this is what i'm looking at today and i'm looking at it to get to this point okay so this is my analysis for today it is for the aud card now i like to get comments from us i want to see if um, you understand what i'm saying if um, i'd like to get feedback so I know how to serve us better. I don't know how to, I will know how to um, express or explain better. So let me let me see comments and and responses. Okay, thank you, and um, I will give update on this trade at the end of the day. Thank you.